Wet conditions at the start line in Biella for a long stage from the northwest of Piedmont down to Canale in the southeast. Eventually, the rain would dry up. Uh, that wasn't before eight riders got up the road, featuring two riders from the Aeolo Cometa team, including Vincenzo Albanese, the king of the mountains. Albanese then duly went about his business in the company of some of the riders of the world tour level and picked up nine points for the first Cat 3 climb of the day to extend his advantage in the King of the Mountains competition to something unassailable, guaranteeing him the jersey at the end of the day. Eventually, though, he was caught on the final sprint of the day in Guareni on a steep climb as a counter-attack was launched by Giulio Ciccone and Tony Gallopan. Two riders, Simon Pello and Taco van der Horn, were left at the front, and the bunch that had been controlled by Borda Hansgro all day looked like they might be playing a perilous, perilous game. Taco van der Horn then attacked Simon Pello on the flat roads approaching the finish line. He had a minute with 25 kilometres to go. The counter-attack was launched again by... Uh, Ciccone and by Tony Gallopan, but Taco van der Horn started to believe, and the closer he got towards Canale, the more desperate the chase got. Within the final 500 metres then, sweeping round towards the finish line, only then could he dare to risk a look back to check that Elia Viviani and the rest of the bunch would be thwarted in their attempts to track him down and he rode, in the end, to a famous, famous breakaway victory. Taco van der Horn, the first winner in 2021 for Antamarche Monte Gobert, and the biggest win of his life. The sprint for second place was won by Davide Chimolai of the Israel Startup Nation, and Peter Sagan thwarted in his ambitions. Taco van der Horn, though, what a ride. Taco. You look like a very, very happy man today. Yes, I, I can't believe it. No, <laughs> I, uh, I just wanted to go in the break to, to, uh, and be aggressive to all what he wrote to maybe, I you know it was really difficult to, to, to get to the front and win the stage or get to the, to the finish line with the group. But I just think uh, every one or 0.5% it's, it's an off chance, so uh, I just take it. And uh, I didn't believe actually in it when he had one minute with uh, 25k to go or something. But uh, Simon, uh, the guy from Androni, was pulling really hard on the climb. I was actually uh, full gas. But then afterwards, when I'm a bit heavier and with uh, I think my aero position was a bit better, so I could. He was he was tired, and I drop him, and and then I heard in the radio that I've still. 40 seconds or something to get full gas with the line. It's what crazy. came through your through your mind when you crossed the line? Uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was really thinking, with 1k to go, I, I was looking behind and I was seeing, ah oh, fuck, I'm gonna make it. What the fuck? <laughs> and then uh, yeah, just the uh, last part was uh, was uh, was was incredible. One word of conclusion in uh, Dutch language. Yeah, ongelooflijk. Ongelooflijk. Dank you. Well. Thank you.